Hi, I'm Brian Jackson, editor of itbusiness.ca, and I'm here at the SAS Global Forum, and with me is Aurelien Nicosia. He's a PhD candidate at Université Laval, and he's here today as a competition winner. Congratulations. So tell us, what did you win? So we win the student synopsium at SAS Global Forum here in Las Vegas. So actually, we had eight big data set, and we had to choose one, and we had to create our own issue and solve it using SAS. Okay, great. So you were actually competing against eight other teams, uh, yeah. and you've been working on this for months, right? Yeah, so yeah. this was Since October. Yes, October. So we had to find the issue. It was a long, long process because we we want something ingenious and very interesting for the application. So we work a lot of the issue, and after that we solve it. And we were at the A team here in Las Vegas, and then we win on our presentation today. Yeah, so no small feat to come out on top after all that time uh, invested. And the way the competition worked, I understand you had to choose from eight data sets, and your team chose a data set that was composed of books that are made available by Google. Exactly. So tell me about working with that and determining what question you would try to answer within the data set. Yeah, so basically Google has digitized a lot of books during this century, and we have the Google and Gram data set. So basically that's just word, and you can know with uh, each word how many times it appears in each year on how many books. So you can check on popularity, you can go on the Google and Gram Viewer website and just choose a word, for example, SAS, and just check on the popularity of the word during this century. But we think that the composition of all the books on the world has changed a lot this century, especially on the 20th century. Especially because of the scientific literature, we think, and we know that the scientific literature has exploded in the middle of the 20th century. And the main example that we have and that we prove in our project is the word figure. So figure with a capital F. When you will look at its popularity, it's like this word gain in popularity. But we think that this is not the truth. Okay, the word figure, where, where we, you can find this word in the sentence? Just at the beginning, because you have a, fig, a capital, yeah. So, but when you write a scientific work, when you refer to figure, table, section, and so on, you have to capitalize the word. So, we have proven that, okay, you can, choose, you can use the Google and Gram data set to check popularity of work, but be careful, because maybe your world is from a huge subset of the corpus itself. Yeah, that makes sense to me because, of course, we see the word figure being used so often in those scientific works uh, next to the diagrams and the charts. Exactly. It would just be there exactly. all over the place. So that makes exactly. perfect sense. So why do you think that having uh, researched and answered that question in part that you were able to win the competition here today? Okay, I think first that how issue is maybe kind of ingenious because we only have five variables in the data set. So we have the world itself, we have the years, and how many times the world happier. So what you can really do with this data set? We had nothing else. We don't have the books itself. We don't have, okay, which world in which book it appear, nothing. So we had to choose a world. And when we go on the internet, we can see that people look at graph of popularity and they kind of, they like this, this kind of stuff. So we want to, we would to, Okay, be careful about look at the popularity of world. So, I think that's why we, we have one. Well, uh, congratulations. Now, tell us why, uh, what, where does it go from here? What application do you think your work could have uh, out there in the business world, say? Yeah, actually, yeah, there is a lot of potential application. The first one is, for example, in marketing or business. So, imagine that you want to choose a title for a new advertising you have to correctly choose the word. And you can choose between, for example, I don't know, five synonym. And so you, maybe if you want to choose the most popular synonym, you can go on the internet, on the Google and Gram Viewer and check which one is the most popular and take this one. So how method is to, okay, take the, the, the most popular one, but be careful about how you measure the popularity of a world. Yeah, so that's great. It could help me as a writer maybe to choose the right 
per the perfect word for my headline. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I love it. Can't wait to try it out. I, I hope you release some software soon, maybe, with that. And congratulations on winning again. Thank you. Uh, it was great to see a, a team from Canada here at the SAS Global Forum uh, being recognized. So I'm Brian Jackson, editor of ITBusiness.ca.